Okay. Getting started here. Transmission, <laughs> lights, camera, action. Get the spiritual energies together. This is going to be an interesting show. Yes. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to be talking about extraterrestrials. We're going to talk about angels, aliens from other worlds. Beings who created other races, including the human race. And all the different, you would say, alien extraterrestrial guardian races that have to do with our human drama. We won't cover all of them, you know, because we already know there's 10 million star leagues in the Galactic Federation and there's 25. Let me refresh this page. It says reconnection successful. All right. Looks like you guys can hear me okay. <laughs> it looks like we're live. We're live and a, a little bit of bump there, but here we go. We'll deal with that as we go. Looks like we got some connection from you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. We got Free White Dove, Raggy XX Muffin in the house, my Chihuahua sister. Much love. Obviously, Josie 2415. We got more Starseed Souls. 33. Oh, 22. No, it's 33. That's a good sign. I love that confirmation, right? Let me lay some of this incense resin. We got some uh, frankincense resin. And when you're in a space of stillness, meditation, some people do magic, some people do manifestation or healing work, all kinds of reasons why to light candles and protect your space. Cleanse and purify your body. Some people call that saging. Um, we're not using sage, but we're using resins of in incense resins. And just want to say that according to these teachings, which are the Emerald Order teachings, also called the Inner Crystals Law of One. <laughs> And let me put some amber on here. So we got this space going on, okay? This is also cleansing. Cleansing your space. Smudging your body. Purify. This is a spiritual channel, and we talk about spiritual awakening and ascension, but we also talk about aliens, angels, you know, all that stuff that's part of spiritual awakening, which maybe some of you may not think that's part of awakening, but it's actually a huge part. Aliens, guardian angelic races, uh, these are actually who we are. <laughs> this is where we're coming from. And when you consider multidimensional, that means several different levels of realities, not just one reality, but many realities. That's where these aliens, guardian angelics are coming from. Okay, uh, they're coming from not from another planet, not from another galaxy. They're coming from another dimension of reality. Now, we talk about the 15 dimensional time matrix. Have you seen the matrix? Okay, you'll realize that it's a hologram field. Okay, made up of different frequency by bandwidths. Their frequencies, their holograph, you would say, holographic bandwidths of reality. And so density is created, you know, bodies are created through, you would say, vibrating ultra micro particles called particles. So that, that's way, those are generations smaller than the quark or subatomic particles, okay? So this is a hologram field and it's made up of all these different levels. And you would say 
aliens, extraterrestrials, will use stargates to traverse these, these universes and dimensions. Okay, and it's not like light speed you see in Star Trek or Star Wars. Okay, it's literally going through a gate, gating, okay, to get to another reality. You, you, could, you could go forever and ever and ever in a spaceship, let's say, in a third dimension and, and never get to the next reality. You can't get there by traveling this way, you know, through, space, through a light speed. You, you would actually go to one of the, you, we have planetary stargates, we have solar stargates, part of the sun, part of uh, galactic stargates, we have universal stargates. So aliens from high level can come down through a series of stargates. You know, go go through Stargate 9, go through Stargate 6, get to star get to Stargate 3, SG3. Um, so that's actually part of this disclosure, right? Um, we're learning that there is a whole network of stargates which leads you to other worlds, other beings. And we talk about how the humans were created through a series of levels of different races, okay? Um, with the highest being around 48 strands of DNA, and then another part of us is a 36 strand of DNA, and then a, another part of us is 24 strand, and then finally, our human race is an extraterrestrial race um, that has 12 strands of DNA. And that DNA particularly is called Diamond Sun DNA, Danny Stacy in the house. She wants to do Kundalini chakra travel. <laughs> Machua. Celine, much love, much my sister, and she's also a moderator. So she'll be watching our backs tonight in, in the community. Thank you for being here, sister. We got Thomas. Portals, you said a holy one. <laughs> yes, Danny, the portals. And uh and by the way. The guardians don't call these chakra. That's a word coming from Hindu or Buddhism. Um, this is the guardians call these Templar. These are stargates. Templar are stargates. So when you talk about the planetary Templar, you're talking about the stargates of Earth, which are actually located in different cities or areas of the planet, such as the Stargate One SG One is in around the Sedona Painted Desert of Arizona. That area will have portals, wormholes, and nearby is the major stargate, a planetary stargate. There's only 12, okay? There's only 12 planetary stargates. So the rest are minor portals. Like some people say, isn't like Mount Shasta? You know, it must be a stargate. No, it's not. There's only 12 of them. And the rest are portals. Wormholes, okay, that take you, they're, the guardians call them vortices. And so the vortices will take you to um, where do you want to go? And there's actually, the guardians map them out. They, they show you where they're located. And so this is uh, part of our heritage, 333. I just saw 333, you guys, as the, the average view duration. That's only because we just started. It usually goes up to 12 minutes or so. Right now it's at 333. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we got 22, we got 33, now we just got 333. I think this is an important transmission. <laughs> so I always love those confirmations. I'm very grateful for that. Vortis. Yeah, you want to call it a Stargate. Okay. Um, and there's more than one. It looks like we got Helena became a ninja again. I mean, she became a member again. She's saying, Machiwa to all ninja stars. Ninja stars of light, one love, peace and light. Thank you, Holy One. Helena, you're awesome, sister. Big hug, kisses. Much much uh, gratitude for my family and soul family here. <laughs> Thomas Tribe, you said a Holy Ones. And so... We'll be making a poll about these aliens, right? But when it gets to close to 99, you know, people will start seeing the time matrix diagram. We have 111 views. If you guys look, you can see that there's 111 views. OMG! 
And we've been only live for four minutes. No, wait. I don't. I can't see how long we've been live, but <laughs> we did. We, we did. We're like getting crazy numbers today. Twenty-two, thirty-three, three, 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 uh, one, one, one. And wasn't there another one? I don't know. I'm getting excited about that. <laughs> so you guys, there's more to uh, aliens than just little green men, green people, little gray aliens. No. You know, with these big oval shaped eyes. That is most people's reference. ET phone home. No, there's more than that. Much, much more. Um, you could say trillions, maybe quadrillions of alien beings. Okay, if we're talking about the entire 15 dimensional time matrix, right? So there's more than just little ET homie. They can look like, uh, you know, those are little short guys. The little gray aliens. Well, there's big, tall insectoids. You call these beings with in insect features insectoids. Insectoid aliens. Okay. Um, but there's cat feline aliens. There's uh, dinosaur aliens. Reptilian aliens. Beings that look like reptiles of some sort. Beings that look like bird people. Avian features, bird features, it could be in having feathers, it could be having beaks, it could be having, uh, you know, like the blue avians. They're, they're a type of avian alien. <laughs> okay, an alien, and uh, the guardians call these like the original, let's say the first original primal, primary founders race is called the Ceres. We're going to be talking about the Ceres, uh, but... This is, uh, it, you know, it's been kind of like the 10th dimension, but there's, and it's spelled C-E-R-E-Z, Ceres. They're bird people, bird hominids, upright, walking, you know, two arms, two legs type of beings. And so these are guardians. And um, there's a, you would say, these beings are up at the density four. That would be dimensions 10. 11 and 12 but there's lower versions of the bird people and they and the guardians were nice enough to spell them differently each one differently there's one called Ceres S-E-R-E-S and that's the second one the third one would be Ceres with two R's S-E-R-R-E-S -E -R -R -E okay so these were the Egyptians Egyptian Ceres so there's also Pleiadian bird people, you know, they have, there's some bird DNA from the Ceres in the Pleiadians. There's some bird DNA Ceres in us, the human race. Now we're coming from the blue flame. We're going to talk about that and show you in the diagram. Um, they created cat people and, and just mammals in general, but we got some of the, you would say, they're called DNA host matrix where some of our DNA, some of the guardian DNA was added to our DNA to fix it, to readjust it. It happened before with the Lemurians and Atlanteans when they started to fall. Well, they injected some of the guardian DNA with the Lemurians uh, so they could have the Ceres Egyptian, the Ceres was introduced to fix our DNA. And that has happened throughout history. We talk about the forbidden history here on this channel, Crystal's Avatar, because you're not allowed to know you're not being taught by religion or, or science. They don't acknowledge most of this. You know, uh, course, four for four, what in the world? The average view duration is now four minutes and 44 seconds. <laughs> is somebody keeping track of all these numbers? Now we have a four for four. <laughs> so this is, this is beautiful. Um, so you're gonna find a lot of these alien races are looking like some type of animal features and so we have to take our what we've been trained or you could say what we've been manipulated into believing that animals are just lowly little creatures but when you understand multi-dimensional reality that little animal that you're talking about is actually a lower version of a higher extraterrestrial version and most of those higher ones are upright. Down here, the dolphins are swimming. They look like fish. Up there, the dolphins are upright. 
legs and arms. The cat people, oh, you see the cat people down here, your little kitty, you pet the little cat. Up there, it's a freaking uh, hominid. Okay? You got it backwards. We think they're lowly, but no, they're actually high beings. I'm in the middle of making my Orophim video. I thought I was going to have it by this weekend. It's not happening. It's these, these are part bird, part cat. How do you make a picture of that? Well, <laughs> that's what I'm working on. So I made a few so far. I might show you one just for the heck of it. Um, looks like it's not jumping the 100 people. So let's just go ahead and show you the diagram. And I have, uh, I have news, personal news I want to share with all of you. But let me wait till there's close to 100 people. <laughs> So Celine, sister, or whoever else is here, uh, please remind me of the news in about 20 minutes, maybe. And I'll probably tell it then. Personal news. So let me show you this time matrix diagram and show you some of these alien beings. And I'm also going to be showing you guys um, some of the information that's talked about these alien races in the PDF. Um, that's going to be kind of like my strategy. I'm going to start showing you guys the, the Emerald Order teachings talking about these things, concepts, because I, I, I get people saying that I'm making this up. And I'm going to show you a look, I'm not making this up. I agree with this information. I resonate with it. I've been a student of it since 2010. That's 12 years of study. Um, so Okay, so I'm not making it up. It's based on actual information that's proliferate. What do you call that? Prolific. It's prolific. It's, it's a huge tome of, of information. And it's a spiritual ascension teachings. And it's called the Emerald Order teachings. So what I'm talking about tonight is the point of view from these Emerald Order teachings. Okay, so maybe you'll have a different opinion about some of these races we're going to talk about tonight. So, and that's okay, you guys. We're about unity, consciousness. We get along with whatever your ideas are. Uh, but we are going to teach from the point of view of the Emerald Order. <laughs> and that's where some of the cat people are coming from. Well, not some. That's where all the cat people are coming from. But if there's a split DNA, like someone took some of the cat DNA into the gold flame races... You know, just just remember where they came from, and vice versa. No, after tonight, hopefully you'll get an idea of where all these different main elder races are. You can call them elder races, but the guardians would call them founder races. Know that this was a creation at a certain point in time, and according to the these races, I'm going to show you guys most of them. The the, the founder races. It, it, it seems mind-boggling or impossible, but they are, according to the Guardians, they're 950 billion years old. So they created the time matrix 950 billion years ago, and within that time period, they created the first races, who are called the primary founder races. Okay, those aren't like you would think of what they look like. Okay? Because we know four, no, these are beings that look like stars. They don't have arms and legs. Not recognizable. But they are because you know what a sun looks like, you know what a star looks like. They're, they're hot plasma. And these pl plasmic beings, there's one race called the, one primary founders race. Because there's three of them. Who create the founders races, who create the other ETs. So the three primary races are the Holy Elohai. You don't have to say Holy. You just say Elohai. Seraphai, Gold Flame. And Braharama, Violet Flame. So you can't really say what they look like because they're just a blue star or a blue flame or a gold flame or a violet flame. Okay? And these are actually pale colors. Pale colors. Pale blue, but it's really called turquoise. Pale turquoise, pale yellow, and pale magenta. Blue flame, gold flame, violet flame. Pale turquoise, pale gold, yellow, pale magenta. OK, 
Okay, so the Elohai will be first, and then out of the Elohai came the Seraphai, out of the Seraphai came the Braharama. So realize that that's why these teachings are called the Emerald Order, because it's coming from the Blue Flame, who created everything else. The Blue Flame are actually a cloister in the Ascended Masters called Melchizedek. It is the Melchizedek's cloister, Janus, Ascended Masters, who came and created our 15-dimensional time matrix, because there's several time matrices. From what I understand, there's 24 of them. And I've seen some of her previous, her older work, Ashana, and she talked about the 24 time matrices. Ours was created by the cloister called Melchizedek. That's why these Emerald Order teachings are something called Melchizedek Cloister Emerald Order, but that's a mouthful. <laughs> and, you know, and it's also abbreviated M-C-E-O, Melchizedek Cloister Emerald Order, but we just call it Emerald Order, same thing. And you just know that it comes from a, the Ascended Master is called Melchizedek. So they created everything here. They were the original blue flame who created the yellow flame and by the flame in all three of these universal trinity. And these are not called ETs yet. These are called meta terrestrials. And it is these three meta terrestrial primary founders who create the, the, you would say nine. Well, there's not nine. Let's count them together, but I think there's more than nine. But I had to account for the two that have fell. There's a few that fell. There's three or four that. There's like three main races who fell, which would be the Anu fell, Anu Elohim, Anunnaki, uh, not the Anunnaki yet. These, these are the ones who created the Anunnaki. Uh, so they fell. And there's a. Omicron dragon moths fell and the Adeticrons fell. But all of the races they create are fallen races. So that nine is not part of what I'm talking about tonight, but we'll be let's go over that. So 98 souls. Okay, so now there is enough people. You guys, I'm gonna show you this diagram and show you these alien races, what I just talked about. However, I want to quickly tell you guys some personal. Wonderful news. Um, my daughter, 23 year old daughter, she lives in Wisconsin. I'm in Nevada. She gave birth to a perfectly healthy, beautiful six pound girl. Her name is Melody. The, the daughter, my granddaughter is Melody. And so, hey, I'm a grandfather. Machiwa! <laughs> It's a beautiful thing, man. My brother and sister, who are younger than me, have been grandparents for freaking... Well, dang, my brother... Well, well, his kid had kids. Well, anyways, they, they, they have been grandparents longer than I have, and I'm the oldest. But I finally... Be, today, no, technically yesterday, at eight, around 8.30 p.m. It was interesting. So, she's an Aries, right? Isn't that an Aries? May, May fit... Wait... May 5th, no, April 5th, excuse me, April 5th, a April 5th should be Aries, if I'm correct, but anyways, I just wanted to say that and share it, I feel excited and happy about that, so let me show you the diagram, Machiwa uh, Masutas, <laughs> thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, all right, let me show you the diagrams while we're talking about this. All right, so this is where all these aliens are coming from, okay? Uh, this is a time matrix, and we'll talk about it for a moment. And just so you guys know right away, uh, this is available for sale. If you're not a member, you're, you can purchase this separately. And there's, there's a link below, and I'll ask Celine to please provide the link. You guys can go there and... And, and study along with this tonight's live. So God projected itself. There's only one God, homies. Okay, not a bunch of gods. Like there's not a bunch of Roman gods, Greek gods, Viking gods, Egyptian gods, Hebrew God, doesn't matter. There's only one, okay? There's only one creator God. And God created this time matrix 
There's 25 of them. No, 24 of them. But we're one, this is just one of them. So, but we're going to talk about our time matrix, 15 dimensional time matrix. The beings I just talked about, you see how they're pale? Not bright colors, they're pale colors. These are the beings who look like stars, hot plasma. So imagine these beings don't really look like animals or humans. They look like uh, just a, a hot plasma being, spherical, but hot, <laughs> very hot, right? Uh, and pale blue, pale turquoise, pale gold. And uh, I couldn't write in pale gold because it, you couldn't see it very well. But this is pale. This should be pale too. But um, here's the actual tints, and it is these races who look like suns who create uh, aliens, or you could say extraterrestrials. That's why these beings are called ultra, no, meta terrestrials. These beings are called meta terrestrials. Okay, and so. Uh, and they're the guardians. We keep talking about guardians. Well, who are the guardians? It's these, these, these suns, star beings. These star beings uh, start creating races in density four. So this is density four. And this is where all the ETs and the planets start being made in liquid light, crystal liquid. So it is these crystal thermoplasmic beings suns, like I just explained, before the planets, before extraterrestrials, they existed because they're the ones who create the planets and create the extraterrestrials. Now, here we are in liquid light. This is where all the ET homies start coming in. So starting with the cat people. So I'll go, these are called, um, well, here's the violet flame people, races. The ones in red are the ones who fell. There, there is no by the flame who fell. This is a different. This is from the uh, gold flame. So we'll explain that too. But gold flame and by the flame races, you would say the ones who did not fell fall are the Athean mantis beings, and the bird people we talked about, the Ceres. Now the by the flame are the Yoni, the dolphins, the Inu, which are whale people. Remember. Down here, they're just animal looking. Up there, they look like people. And they have names for their race. The Innu are the whale people. The Pegasi is a real being, a Pegasus. It's part avian, part, what do you call horses? Estrian, um, avian, estrian, avian horse, deer. Uh, so I'm thinking since they call it a deer, they must have unicorns too, as real beings. They're part horse, part deer. Well, this is an avian horse deer. And so that's the violet flame races. There's four main founder, ra founder races, okay? The first ones you call primary founder races. These are primary founder races who create the, the first starting main founder races. So these are the blue violet flame founder races. Let me check chat or check that everything's okay. And so, yeah, looks like we're good. And so, of course, uh, the, the ones that's really important to humans is the, the blue flame ones. The highest one is the 12th dimensional, 12D, D12, Anuhazi. So this is the first one we're going to talk about. Now, I made plenty of art pictures with, about these Lirin. They're In a new age, they're just called Lirins. Well, they're more than just called Lirins, okay? That just indicates where they come from. Yeah, they come from the Lyra star system, but the actual race name is called Anuhazi, which is my, my name, by the way. So Anuhazi is a feline, up walking, talking uh, ET, the first ones. Now there's something called the Anuhazi universal language because they're the first ones. Now they have another, these are blue flame, obviously. So there's another blue flame race called the Anu. They're also part cat, but they also have some aquatic features, and they look like apes. Basically, you could say that's where apes came from. Um, they have the appearance of apes. If you see apes or talk about apes, um, they, they connect to the Anu race. Okay? Now, this is the race, as you can see, they fell and started calling themselves the Anu Elohim. 
And this Anu Elohim is who created the, the Jehovian Anunnaki. And once again, way up there, like the 10th, the 11th dimension, they're not just swimming around in water. Okay? These dolphins are upright, called bipedal um, dolphin people. Okay? That's who the these supposed badass Anunnaki are. The original ones are, are dolphin people. And so guess what? Jehovah, Yahweh, who are you worshiping? Well, that's what you're worshiping. So, um, and so these, in this dimension, or you would say, I'm sorry, density, universe, these are what we're focusing on. Density for guardian races. So there's two here, one, two. Uh, there's two positive ones, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, there's actually, you know, other races I want to talk about. So um, the Omicron, like I said, for 700 billion years, these were not red. They were not fallen. They used to be blessed dragon beings, insect, dino, reptiles, actually. That's what they're called, dragon moths. Well, so were the Dedekron. They once were blessed beings, and so were the Anu before they fell. Okay? Um, but they made their free will choice, and now they're not serving the Christos or God or anything. They, they're against life. And so, um, but anyways, the Anu, Anuhazi, and the Pegasi, the Inu, the Dolphins, and the Yoni, and the Athean, Mantis beings, and the Ceres are all... Serving the law of one. All are God. All are equal. It's a universal thing, not a human drama thing. It's an, it includes earth, but it's everywhere. And while there is fallen dragons, Dracon, there's also benign ones, friendly ones, not dangerous, not attacking you. And so we're not saying all these are bad, okay? We never did. We're just simply talking about the dark ones who... It depends on what video I'm making. Now, here, here's an example of... I said about the Ceres, a lower version of it is called the, spelled the Ceres. And then there's a lower version of this. I don't think I have it on this diagram, but spelled with two R's. The Ceres Egyptians, for example. And so, anyways, uh, this gives you an idea how higher races, like, like the Anuhazi is the 12th dimensional race, but they created a 9th dimensional race called the Lyran Syrian Anuhazi. And then these beings created a race called the, um, where is it? Orophim. No way. Oh, okay. It, right here, intensity in the next density. These are, these are feline aliens, homie. Like I mentioned earlier, part bird, part cat. Now, I made a picture, uh, I'm in the middle of making my Orophim Angel video. So, but, so, these pictures are not done yet, but, let me see. This is a part bird, part cat. Oh, wait, I haven't opened in Photoshop. This is what I'm working on right now. So... And they're described as having pure white skin, like powder white skin. Um, they're they're going to have feathers and cat features and cat eyes. Okay, so uh, I'm still working on this artwork. There's different specimens I'm going to be making, but yeah. So that is what these beings are. Feline avian hominid beings. And it is these beings, the one I just showed you a picture of, who create us. The Anunnaki did not create us. It's a bunch of BS. The Anunnaki have their own line. Okay? It was the Jehovian Anunnaki uh, connected to some of these races, not the human races, not the human genome. It's a bunch of BS. Um, you can have different opinions about Enki, Enlil, Marduk. That's, that's a different video. That's a different topic. That's the fallen angels. These are the blessed guardian angels. And by the way... It is in density three, where you no longer have gender, you no longer have a body, you're more ghost-like, and you're not just a single person, you're a collective. And it is also 
the density three beings who are archangels. Okay? Archangels. Density three ghost-like etheric beings. And these ETs are also, you know, involved with us. Uh, and, and the ones that I showed you, like the Orophim, are lower. They're down here. And density two, called angels. They're celestial beings. So you, you, have, you realize that we have different consciousness, different minds. Uh, we're called souls at that level. And we also have different matter. Okay, you're going to be made of different uh, carbon, crystal, or, or liquid, or, or air. And so I just want to show that a little bit, give you guys a reference point, because we're also going to be referring to the diagram. So let me go back to chat. Um, one, one second. Watch you. Let me let me refresh the window. Peace and love to all of you, holy ones. Much respect. Thank you for coming and spending your Saturday with us as we talk about angels, guardian nations, different elder races. And specifically, the ones who started it all. And to explain these races, this is why I show you the diagram, because you need that explained in order to really understand what multidimensional beings are, which are different matter form, not just carbon matter. Come on, go outside the box. Our scientists need to uh, look a little bit, you know, aim higher than just carbon matter. They're just saying that only carbon matter is life. When you know when all are God, you know everything is alive. Plastic is alive. Artificial intelligence is it shouldn't be called artificial. Fake. False. Not real. It is real. It, everything is alive. So that means a rock is alive. That means a, a dark being is, al is alive, of course. <laughs> but it's all part of the creation of creator and everything is made of consciousness so since everything is made of consciousness you know everything in your body everything your whole form uh and your whole race uh this planet this this coffee mug it's not coffee i'm drinking tea it, this is alive the lemon it's alive it has consciousness um my glasses my t-shirt my hair is alive everything is made of Unified field. Everything's in the unified field. It's made of the unified field of God. So notice that these different frequencies of reality, that means each one you go down is another down step, a lesser version of itself compared to the original. Now, in that diagram, we all, every single thing that is, exists, that is alive, has what's called a divine blueprint. So let's let me just show that in case you didn't see the divine blueprint, which is in density for everybody, a cricket, a potato bug, uh, a serial killer, a fallen angel, a guardian angel, everything, animal, plant, whatever, has a divine blueprint, has a perfect original intention by God. God wanted to create a race that looks a certain way and has a certain level of consciousness. Well, this is the original version of you. Everything has a 12D, D12 version of itself. Everything has a Christos version of itself. Okay? Um, that's why you get these beings looking like a, like cat people aliens. What? That, that, that's, that's nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. Uh, you got it backwards because... Uh, Everything is projected downwards. Everything starts at these at these uh, founder races that are, I've been going going over with you. These are these started first in their divine blueprints. These were perfect versions of themselves before they twisted themselves. Notice there is no negative races in the twelfth dimension. They only start in the eleventh dimension. Fallen races, fallen consciousness. Polarization, you know, uh, duality, starts in D11 and down. 
So you're going to have uh, not blue at this level, even at the 11th dimension, you're not going to have divine blueprint. You're going to have a distortion of your divine blueprint. And so if we go to the top again, right? And we're looking at the divine blueprint in the 12th dimension. Well, you keep going down in your blueprint. That means you have less DNA. This is 12 strand DNA. Well, this is less. You have one strand less of consciousness. This has two strands less. This has three strands, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strands less than a human. I mean, you, the human has nine strands less, I mean, than this being. As a matter of fact, it is all of these strands, you, all of these strands, most humans, not the star seeds, that all of these strands are in what's called your junk DNA. And you have to activate it. You're trying to activate your divine blueprint. That's why these teachings focus on the 12 dimensional Christos consciousness. The Christ consciousness, Christos consciousness, is your perfect divine undistorted consciousness and body. So, sorry, wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to make that point clear and this helps you understand. This is why I offer this diagram for $15. It's worth $15, you guys. It's an excellent study tool. You can download it to any device you have. So let me go back. <laughs> Cosmic Dan, good to have you back, Holy One. Love is light, light and love. What's up, Helena? Carlos, I feel like a like an angel, but I just keep it to myself so I won't scare anyone. <laughs> well, a lot of consciousness is 3D on planet Earth. If you start telling someone 3D person that you're an angel, well, they won't understand that. You see how I just made the statement that you really need to see multi-dimensional reality in order to understand what an angel is. Because the, these 3D people uh, I mean, people who are in 3D consciousness, I'm not trying to be rude. People in 3D consciousness, they only see angels from like a Renaissance painting. The Bible doesn't have pictures, homie. No thumbnails, no pics. It doesn't, you don't get to see what an angel looks like. But humans told you what it looks like in the, in the Renaissance period. That's when you start seeing pictures of angels with wings. Did you see the picture I showed you? It's an orpheme angel. It didn't have wings. Not all angels have wings. Okay? So this is um, just a little bit, you know, from the New Age perspective, a lot of distortions. And so if there's distortions, then you're going to have distortions in your awareness of yourself, of your own identity. And so, believe it or not, part of my job is to make pictures for you, to see some of these things. And the Voyager's books talk about these aliens. And so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Did I close the PDF? Oh my gosh, I closed my PDF. But I'll just reopen it. <laughs> and you guys, my, my PDF is all marked up. That means I put a bunch of highlights in it. But just I'll delete those as we go. Just so don't, they're not in the way. And just so you guys know, uh, the, there's two Voyager's books, but it's, it is the first Voyager's books that shows you, the guard, that talks about the Guardian races. You will find them talking about them in, in Voyager's 2 as well, but they first get talked about in Voyager's 1. So let me, let's do that. Um, let me show you the PDF as we go. So this is Voyager's, okay? The Sleeping Abductees. It talks about spiritual awakening and ascension, but it also talks about aliens and, and, and like I'm doing, it's telling you about where they came from, what they're made of, and all this stuff. I mean, where do you think I'm getting this information from? I'm not making it up. And this is why I show you this from the book itself. So remember, the first race was called Anuhazi. There's 17 results. So in this PDF, you can download it for free. We give you a link. Talks about the Anuhazi language. Remember, I just mentioned that. 
Actually, the original teachings were in 246,000 years ago. These teachings that I'm that I'm sharing with you are from 246,000 years ago. And they, they are actually translations of something called CDT plate. The CDT plates, which stands for Cloister Dora Terra. Cloister Dora Terra plates. The CDT plates were translated 246,000 BC. 246,000 BC. And that is called, those teachings from 246,000 years ago are called Maharata. Maharata, which translates into English as Inner Christos Dispensations. These are the Maharata teachings, the Inner Christos teachings from 246,000 years ago. The Guardians are bringing this from ancient times. Uh, you're not getting the true history record from uh, your science or history. You think you're only 6,000 years old. No, uh, and we're, we're much more ancient than this, actually. We're millions of years old. But anyways... Um, these are, remember, they're coming from the Blue Flame Elohai. So let's keep going down the, this PDF. So this is where you will find in Voyagers 1. They're going to talk about the, the three founder races that I just told you about. The, the, uh, the, the universal trinity. They're called, they look like suns or stars. They're called the Brenawa. That's a Liren Anuhazi word. Um, you can call them solar rishi. Just like in the diagram. Let me make sure the live is, is showing this because it's not up to date on my... I'm just refreshing the page so I can make sure it's accurate. I don't need to have blunders. <laughs> okay, so it is the Elohai. Remember, they made two races. Two, the Elohai are called... These are primary founders. And they make races. Well, those races will be called founders. So they made two founders races... And one of them is called, like I said, the Anuhazi. They're called feline hominids. Hello. Just like you see in this movie, uh, Avatar and Avatar 2 by John Carpenter. Well, this gives you an idea. You get an idea. But these beings are actually in liquid light. And just like the time matrix, these beings are as old as the time matrix. 950 billion years old. And uh, hello, they're on a planet in a Lyra system, the planet called Aramantana. Okay? Now, they made a second race. The Elohai made a second race, and I showed you on the diagram. Let me... Uh, this is called Anu. Okay? Was not the humans. The humans come from Anuhazi. Uh, the Anunnaki come from Anu. The Anunnaki did not create us. <laughs> And notice they're 11-dimensional, D11, okay? They're D11, and the human uh, genome uh, is coming from D12, okay? So they definitely did not create us. Anyways, so these were once beloved beings. Remember, for not, we got along for until 250 million. Uh, this, is a, this is a mistake in the book. It's supposed to be billion, and it'll be shown, showing billion in other parts of the book. This is just a typo. It's supposed to be billion. And so 250 billion years, the Anu fell. This once guardian race fell and started calling itself uh, the Anu Elohim. And it is the Anu Elohim who created the Anunnaki. Oh, wait a second. I didn't make a mistake, or it's not a typo. This is when they created the Anunnaki. So, my bad. I, I'm correcting my correction. <laughs> so, this is correct. Because they're from 950 billion years ago. But they made the Anunnaki 200. The Anu cr created the An Anunnaki 250 million years ago. All this stuff about Zachary Ascension is a bunch of BS. Uh, hello, the true heritage is coming out of these Emerald Order teachings. Emerald Order for life, baby. Emerald Order, Vatos. I'll, I'll highlight that. <laughs> Where, where's the highlight? Emerald Order. Okay? Not New Age, not religion. This is coming from the Emerald Order. Okay, let me see what else they say about Anuhazi. Um, 
you keep hearing Ashana say a lot that Christos founders race. Well, they're the founders race who are at the Christos level. And every time you hear the word Christ, every time you hear the word Christos, think of 12th dimension. And I showed you how they're from the 12th dimension. Um, this is called, this is talking about the Emerald Covenant. Oh, there we go. The Interdimensional Association of Free Worlds. This has 25 billion. What? Oh, wait. It probably says somewhere on here, 25 billion. Yeah, here it is. The 15 dimensional IAFW, Interdimensional Association of Free Worlds, is o it's over 24 billion guardian angelic nations. Okay? Angels are the same thing as alien. Aliens are visitors. They're angels from other worlds, and they're called the guardian angelic nations. I'll highlight that one too. Shit. Okay, the Guardian Angelic Nations. And I mentioned the IF, IF, IAFW. The, these beings, these 25 billion beings, are not following religions, holy ones. They're following the universal law of one. Okay? <laughs> so let's go down to Anuhazi again. Anuhazi. The feline hominid. I already went to that one, so. They're part of the security king. Security team, they're part of the uh, Council of Twelve. The Guardian Angelic, Stignant means Stargate, so Guardian Alliance, Stargate Council Twelve. These are Stargate Councils. Okay? And so these feline Anuhazi are at the Twelfth Dimension, and they're also on the Council of Twelve. The Stargate Guardian Alliance Council of Twelve. Um, all these Stargates are... are Councils, Council of Eleven, Council of Ten, because there's 12 Stargates on Earth. So there's 12 Councils. Council Eight, Council Seven, Council Six. But the Anuhazi are at the highest, the cat people. They're also part of the Council of Eight, apparently. Council of, also Council of Five. So they're, they're an important race. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, there's a lower version of Anahazi called the Lyran Syrian Whites, which are the ones, remember, they, they're the ones who created the Orophim. So let me go back to chat real quick, and we'll go and follow on some of these other races. But we want to talk about the, the definitely about the Anahazi races. Wait, I want to look at viewer activity tab. Because I know someone, Helena, blessed... Oh, yeah, we talked about that already. He said, Helena became a five-month member. Has been a member for five months. She became re reclaimed her membership today. We got... Oh, wait, my light's in my way. Holly? Holly Kimber! Thank you, Starseed. Holy One. I'm, I'm assuming girl. Uh, thank you, sister, um, for supporting this work. And you guys, if you learn anything from this teachings, let me refresh my page. Please consider donating to Crystal's avatar. One, one, one. You said it, Cosmic Dan. <laughs> Sarah Holder and Andy Star said it too. I just saw it myself. Stardust Goddess. You guys, I'm a grandfather and I'm in a good mood. I just turned to grandfather yesterday. I didn't know it. I just found out today. Obviously, my daughter didn't tell me after birth. she gave birth. She told me today, though. <laughs> I want to get lit. This is partially because... Um, my just became a grandfather and i believe i believe that ha, that melody her name is melody she's she's a she's an well my my daughter's an indigo i believe she's an indigo and so i believe her daughter is an indigo because i've had visions of it so who wants to get lit Please put a fire emoji in chat. We're going to get lit together as we continue on this conversation, this Emerald Order perspective about aliens, angels, guardian angels, founder races, primary founder races. And we're just rocking, baby. It's a good energy tonight anyways, but we're going to have extra good energy. <laughs> and this is like uh, you normally... Pass around a, a, a cigar, you know, 
Uh, unfortunately, my daughter's, the father is not in her life, but her mom is helping her along, you know, helping her because this is her first kid, right? And so you guys, you see how we start at the top and we come down. So which one are you connected to? Which one do you feel connected to? And most of those answers you get from your soul, your soul matrix. Because we're not at the soul matrix, we're at the incarnate matrix, density one. The soul matrix is where our consciousness is. Our collective consciousness is in density two soul level. And it is the soul levels who incarnate on earth. I don't know why, but these glasses are blurry or some sh crap. They're not blurry, they're probably just need to be cleaned better. Thank you for your patience as we get this medicine ready. If we could please have a positive prayer for my granddaughter who was just born yesterday. Her name is Melody. You could just say Anuhazi's daughter or granddaughter. Dude, I, I can't see this thing. What's up? Last hole, last hole, okay. Melody. And my daughter chose a beautiful name. I think that's a perfect name. Her name is Odyssey, my daughter's name. I named her. <laughs> yeah, so I wonder what kind of energy is that April energy. My, my, my granddaughter was born on April... April 4th, 5th. So, and also, you guys, next Saturday, I'm just telling you right now that next Saturday, I will probably be at a drum circle. And this time, I plan on taking footage. The last time, I couldn't because I was late or I was, they started early, actually. I wasn't late. This time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go early so that doesn't happen. <laughs> So, I usually just do this for high vibes, but I'm also doing this for celebration. Like sharing the cigar with everyone for something amazing as a new life, a new soul, a new soul coming into earth. Machiwa. So, blessings to Melody and her birth. And this is for her positive. You know, you would say, experience. <laughs> Because who knows what's going to happen in our world, right? But souls are coming in. Souls are still coming in. And including my granddaughter. So, so here we go. Positive energy, positive love, positive care, positive words, positive emotions, positive energies. Sending positive energies to Melody in Wisconsin. Baby Melody in Wisconsin. Sending love. Sending grace. Sending blessedness. Blessing and bliss, joy, a peaceful life, much love, much respect. Shiva. Thank you. Maka, yes. And I'm going to make a poll, you guys. Which alien group are you part of? <laughs> Blue flame, gold flame, or violet flame? Well, I'll word it differently, but... I was having trouble in hailing it. I don't know why. It wasn't coming out very well. Go into stillness. Just for like 15 seconds, go into stillness.
and you'll start to feel it in your chakra, or at least you should. <coughs> Let me put some more of this incense. So, there's all kinds of ideas about aliens, all kinds of different points of view. Okay, as you can see, there's a big point of view, difference of point of views in Anunnaki. I just gave you the rundown from the Emerald Order teachings. Okay, they're not our creator gods. They come from another planet and they came to us in our past, but they were here in our ancient past. They were here in our, in our present. These are the type, this is an example of what an ancient aliens are. These are ancient aliens, but come on, millions of years old? Uh, what do you call that? What do you call billions of years old? Are you still just going to call it ancient? So maybe super ancient? They're definitely ancient aliens, but some, some part you guys need to uh, add to that term is multidimensional extraterrestrial extraterrestrial not of your terrestrial world another terrestrial and i just want to say uh this is a rude awakening call because there is no flat earth there is no hollow earth there is an inner earth that's not the same as hollow earth so we're, we're uh discerning truth from the emerald order perspective and you don't have to agree with that perspective. This is about unity, okay? You have free will in unity. When you don't have unity consciousness in your personal life, in, in your civilization, your tribe, well, there's a distortion already. Mokuyas. Thank you for all the, all of you. I haven't read all the comments, but thank you for all of you who said positive, loving comments for Melody, my granddaughter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is so strong, man. Sometimes the amber is potent. I have to put it down. It's too strong. <laughs> Maybe I put a lot where it was directly on the hot part of the charcoal. Because it's extra smoke, like twice as much. But yeah, you, you will start to feel a lot of, you know, we talk about aliens, but maybe some people, it sounds crazy. But several of us, hello, star seas, indigos, we see them. And you don't have to be abducted physically. You don't, there doesn't have to be an abduction, that's what I'm saying. Uh, hello. If you're suffering while you're being abducted, because there could be a guardian abduction, which is agreed upon, so it's not really... There's, the word abduct means to take, right? So they are taking you, but not against your will. The negative aliens, like, understand that the Zeta Gray aliens, they're, they're part of, they're fallen angels. They're part of the Draconian Matrix. They're, in, they're, they're aligned with him. It's a different matrix because they're reptilians and the greys are insectoids. But, of course, you're going to have some reptilian insectoid beings. Hello, Inky Anunnaki. That's what you call is uh, Anu Draco or Anu Seraphim. Anunnaki, Blue Flame, and Seraphim, Gold Flame. Uh, mixed. Reptilian plus Anunnaki together. That's what we're saying. Lucifer and Satan together. Because the Luciferians come out of Anunnaki races. Rept uh, Satanist, Satanism comes out of the Reptilian races. Both fallen angelic. Both anti-crystals. Anti-God. Anti Earth and anti human, uh, but you got it all twisted, and now you, uh, most people are thinking they're good at beings, just like religious people think their gods are good at beings. Same trick, just on different 
sources. <laughs> science, uh, there's truth in science. There's also lies in science, hoaxes in science. There's, there's a lot of hoaxes and lies in religion, but there is some truth in there. But who wants half truths, man? Do you want half the story? Better, better yet, you want half the identity? That's polarized. You don't want to be male only or female only. That's what you're experiencing. But you want both. You want to combine both. Uh, that's what we're bringing into this world. Unity. Coming together. Uh, Luciferianism, Satanism, fallen angelics. They're bringing in control, domination, murder, sacrifice. Oh, before you're sacrificed, you're going to be tortured. So don't forget about torture. Murder. Uh, you have to do it in order of living, right? So you're damned. I mean, you're being called damned. Doesn't mean you are. Uh, you're, you're being labeled as sinful. Oh, you see us doing bad stuff, uh, so that makes it true? Hello, the explanation from the Gart Emerald Order teachings is that there's distortions in our DNA because there's distortions in the planet's grids. They have literally used technologies to F with planet Earth's grids. Why do you think some New Agers talk about grid work? Because they're effed up. Our planet's grids, Earth's grids are effed up. So there's distortion when you come in here in your, to have an incarnation. 10% or 90% of your consciousness is literally shut off. What left, what's left, that 10% is what makes a person, you. So you're only one-tenth of your full capacity. You want 100%. You see the movie Lucy? Lucy. With that pretty mama, what's her name? Um, she, I mean, she's always been my favorite. I've seen her in the island. Uh, and she's also in, it's Johansson. And she's also was in, uh, what's that futuristic movie? It was a cool ass movie where she's some super hyper advanced soldier. Super, super soldier. Shit. Oh, she was. They took her consciousness and put it into a fake body. Uh, no, a machine body. Like a machine body. Only the only human part was this. Well, in the movie, it's their, her mind. But we, think, we see everything as consciousness. I, I don't know why I brought her up. I'm sorry. <laughs> a little bit of side effects, but. Anyways, um, I personally, you know, like I said, you're not limited to just a little green man. And you realize why people with psychic abilities, they can see aliens, but you can't because you're not psychic. You literally have that current shut off. Understand? You're not even interested in it. So you're not going to put energy into it. So it doesn't come real for you. You don't manifest it like others do. Others have literally experienced these other worlds and other alien beings. I've seen many, 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 many aliens. Not in 3D. Okay? You, you shift your consciousness, Holy One. You, you will see these realities. It won't be a faith or a hope or a, not sh a, a uncertainty. No, you will know. You'll be in a state of knowing. You'll experience it as real as this is. I would say even more. Because I've seen these other worlds. It's hard to say. It doesn't make sense maybe. 1122. 1122 is the average view duration. Holy cow. Oh my God. Yeah. How many numbers tonight, holy ones? You guys are witness, yes? No joke. We've had like six, seven, eight numbers or more. I don't know. And there's a bunch of you guys probably noticed that I, when I was talking, 
11.22. What she was. I forgot what I was saying. Sorry. I, I interrupt my own self. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I feel my entire head and especially going down my spine, like tantric energy. My, my, I feel it even really right here, as far down here, across my head, my crown is on fire, my crown, the back of my head, my neck, and oh, my back, ooh, she goes. And then uh, my hands, my palms, you feel, where's my crystal? Grab a crystal, you guys. Even if you wear one, you, you take off, if you're wearing a crystal bracelet and you can't find another crystal, well, take it off and hold that as your crystal. My solar plexus is on fire. I feel my root and my sacral. My throat. I'm I'm lit. I'm lit, brothers and sisters. I feel light. You feel it crush your body. Oh man, this is strong, you guys. <laughs> so I might speak light language sometimes. I do. It's possible, and I think it might happen tonight because I might. I feel strong energy in my body. So, you, some of you are experiencing clear, clear sentience, clear or clear audience. You'll hear things, clear sentience. Oh wow! Some spirit just touched me. I was touched by an invisible force. At least some forces, some energy or consciousness you don't understand yet. But there's a higher part of you trying to connect to you, always available to you. You just got to put your shift of your focus. You want to experience a psychic ability? Put focus there. Put energy there. And you shall manifest it. Don't, don't put energy there. You're not going to manifest it. You got to first think about thinking about it. Think about something. Think about something. Think about something. And it manifests. Wow. What a concept. Good or bad. You just don't know the difference. You keep on just manifesting your sad thoughts and your negative thoughts. When you, if you would just become aware, mindful... Control your thoughts and direct them to be good only, you know, as best as you can. It's not like you're perfect, but you're going to work on it. Holy wands. We're working on our Christ consciousness. We want, we know that's our potential. We know from these teachings, it's sitting in your DNA that's, on, that's still dormant, that you need to activate through, through your quest for the Holy Grail. That's the Holy Grail. You want your consciousness back. Your Christ consciousness. Christos. The Guardians call it Christos. And we spell it K-R-Y-S-T-O-S. Christos. The Christos. Holy Christ. Holy Christos. 12D, homies. My... 12D Avatar Vatos, Avatar Familia, Emerald Covenant for life. Karnal, I'll treat you as God because you are. I am. We are. They are. One. We are one. Do you feel the one? Do you have love of the one? Love all? Because God is all, so love all. Not some parts, not only believers, not only Chosen ones, what you think, what you say, or what you believe. There is no chosen ones in God because all are God. All. Machiwa. So God is expressing itself through all of these extraterrestrial, multidimensional beings. God's projecting in 12D avatars, 11D avatars, 11, 10D avatars. God is projecting itself as 90 archangels, 8 dimensional archangels, 7 dimensional archangels. God is projecting itself into celestial and angelic beings, 
God is projecting itself into, it's called archetype beings. God is projecting itself into um, astral beings. And then God, God is projecting itself. You see, God is projecting itself all the way down in stages and dimensions and different levels of itself. Okay? And you come into here, your crown, you come into your, you know, different levels, different time periods, different levels of your awareness. You exist in the now in all these places. So, you, but here in 3D, you can become psychic, right? It's like your radar, your Wi-Fi for spirit. You, you got to... You got to increase your Wi-Fi, homie. Increase your consciousness. Increase your mindfulness, your awareness. Become a, a much, you know, a, a, like a Jedi of, of thought. You know how to move thought, holy wands. Your indigo ray, Chikawa. You use vision. You see. You see the the eagle, Mokoye. See the falcon. Moshua. See the Orophine. Orophine. Avian. And feline. Feline, avian. Cat, bird. Mixture. Beautiful beings. Yeah, I showed you one picture. I'll be making a video about Orophine. I'll show you uh, these beautiful beings. There's a... Uh, there's ver different versions of them. They're so beautiful, you guys. Like the one I showed you, those are mostly specialized felines. But there are also some that are specialized... Well... Aquatic. There's a, there's a specialized orophine who are mostly aquatic looking. Which is kind of cool. And there's some that are most mostly bird free features and they said swans and doves i can't wait to make those for you okay see because i showed a lot of scary races now i told you i'm going to start showing you guardian races but i have to show some more of the anunnaki too you guys you have to have patience because because it's they're they're popular topics and it's a huge disservice to to all the people in the new age we, we, we have to talk about the negative things in New Age, but we love the New Age. We, we love that you're a bit able to at least ascend out of religion and see something higher, but still kind of twisted. No, not kind of. It is twisted. So we talk about that. We expose that darkness, which is causing such havoc to your people. You got to not just think for yourself. Don't be selfish. Think of your whole race of humans. Your race is suffering. And we were once, no, we are higher beings like the angels coming down to humans to help them in this falling period. Excuse me. Now it's coming into my awareness, so I'll speak it. When I'm in this connection, you have trust. I have trust. I mean, I mean, I have trust when I have this connection. I just meant we, as in my, my family. I, sometimes you feel yourself as a collective, you guys. You can feel yourself as a plural. And there's no envy amongst each other, no jealousy. It's just complete love. When you're inside of this unity consciousness, when you're inside of unconditional omni-love, you just feel so divine, man. You feel yourself closer to God. You, you can't get farther or closer, but you feel yourself becoming more aware, finally, maybe after a whole period of darkness in your life or confusion in your life, fear in your life. And you guys, these are negative things. You don't want fear. You got to transmute these. Heal. So you don't become clueless of the darkness. You become aware of it. In, your, in the world, yes, but also within yourself. What darkness do you have in your thoughts? What, what darkness do you do in the world? Do you acknowledge it? Can you be honest with yourself? Are you honest with others? Or you do, or you put on a mask? You're just doing pretense. You're not really 
presenting yourself in truth, are you? You're, you're lying. Out of fear. You don't need to have fear. You don't need to lie. Stand in truth. Stand in light. You guys are good people. You're good beings. Good souls. Positive. For pro-God. Pro-human. Pro-all life. We want to have unity. Not war. Not selfishness. Not service to self. Uh, serve. If everyone is serving each other, then... We wouldn't have fallen angels. We wouldn't have negative dark aliens. But we do. We have Luciferians. We have something called the Luciferian Covenant. Okay, which came from like 50,000 years ago. Um, this was in the uh, fictional, it's not fictional, Atlantis. Atlantis is a real place. And they, it was uh, way back in those days. You, one thing you have to understand, that humans come from density universe 2, the fifth dimension, which is carbon etheric rate, density matter. And the carbon, it's, you can call it carbon crystal matter. In the carbon crystal matter, not just carbon matter, uh, first of all, your race is immortal. But you're also galactic. Okay? You're, 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 you're like traveling the galaxy. And beings from the galaxy, you know, different beings are coming to Earth. It's like open again. Not like closed or, or shielded off. Like there's been a, what do you call a... You know how some people had a um, serious disease and then they have to put these people away from everyone else? Confinement, confine them, you know? Even have to kill them or something. Drop an A-bomb on some deadly disease or virus. So we don't want that. We don't want war. We don't want this uh, vampirism. We want to go to the positive timeline of, of, of ascension. You want to obtain spiritual ascension, yes? That's like the main goal. Thank you for those hearts. Who's that? Give me a kiss. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, um, these aliens, uh, a lot of them are not nice. Okay? And it's not like the, guard, the positive ones can really come out and land on the, on the White House lawn or something. You know... When, when the bad guys and the reptilians and the Anunnaki are in power, they can do, they have the advantage because they can, they can threaten life. They can threaten that if the guardians land, then they'll, they will create, they, they have things in place to create total chaos and death and destruction. They would want genocide. They want to murder as many of you as possible. It's truly corrupt, truly dark, and it is part of your society. You have to acknowledge it. You don't be clueless about it. You want to protect yourself. You want your children to be protected and knowledgeable of what's going on, not ignorant. Then they can be abused, and then they can be tricked. You teach them about tricksters. You teach them about liars. You teach them about the darkness. Not so they can go be darkness. Don't be ridiculous. It's the same thing with any aliens. You don't just judge them by, okay, it's an reptilian, so it's automatically evil. I, you know, maybe you just want to have precaution. Doesn't mean you need to, you know, annihilate something. You know, uh, we're not about death. Remember, we can love someone who doesn't love us. One one one, it's one 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 a man with one 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 likes. Oh my gosh, you guys! No way! One hundred eleven people online, and there's one hundred eleven likes. One 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 one. What? This is, this is incredible. <laughs> Impossible. You see, there's proof here. You want proof? I want proof. There's proof on the show. How many numbers have been tonight? It is not possible, but is. 
Some will say, eh, that's just luck, Damien. <laughs> right? Well, I should go to Vegas then. It's only uh, 45 minutes away. <laughs> Actually, it's an hour and a half away. About an hour and a half. I have an old pickup, so I got to travel 70 miles an hour. You know. <laughs> Man, I used to have a Camaro SS. That baby, I went 153 once. Damn. Yeah. That's a nine, by the way. <laughs> the fastest I ever went in, in my own car was 153. But that Camaro SS was freaking fast. It wasn't fast as a Corvette, you know, but it was, you know, as far as I know, but I never owned a Corvette, but <laughs> I definitely had an SS. I got her at 16,000 miles, so she was a youngster. I had kept her in shape until I became homeless. Then I had to live in her. <sighs> That's part of my story. But anyways, uh, that was my journey. You know, some of us needed to go through some darkness. Like that's being, that's dark. When you fall into homelessness, you feel like you have a huge negative uh, pull on your energy right now, pulling you down, destroying you. You have to stop that, prevent that. You have to transmute that. This is a spiritual war, you guys. Some people are going to act like your friends when they're not. They'll be your enemies acting like friends. You'll have dark beings duping you, tricking you to thinking that they're good beings, holy beings. And so it's pretty sad, right? <laughs> wow, Hunter Mavar. Uh, I gotta look at the viewer activity. Machiwa! <laughs> Sorry guys, I feel good. Thank you, Hunter. You're awesome. Can the sky speaks? Thank you, sister. Much love to you. Blessings for thank you for supporting Crystal Avatar. I need you guys. I, I I rely on you guys. You're my you're my you're my blood. You're my homies. You know, like thick, strong, beautiful, beloveds. Thank you for help supporting this work, you guys. It helps me sustain this, I, and so I'm truly honored to even be part of these sharing of these teachings. So much love to our star sister Yasha Ashana also known as Ashiana Dean, to even her lifetime of work, right? Literally, is about these teachings, bringing it to, making it available and sharing it. I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm simply sharing it. So, and it's a great honor. And I always learn, you know, I can teach, but I'm still learning too. And we were learning together, homies. We're, we're becoming our highest versions together. It's a group effort. It's a group love. That's the way God rolls. If it doesn't, if it's not loving all, then that's the sham. That's the lie being told to you. That's the lie that you accepted as sacred and true. It feels like a... What's that called? Someone, someone once loved you, but then they, then they go against you. F, right? And all of a sudden, they, they're, they're cold and callous. They don't care about you. They might even want to hurt you. Anyways, um, we, we will have a bumpy road, you guys. You're, you're angelic beings, archangelic beings. You're aliens from other dimensions of reality coming to Earth to help it. And you know you're gonna, you knew that you're gonna take a big hit in consciousness when you got here. You knew that you know the guardians know that you lose ninety percent of your shut off shuts off when you when your soul integrates the human fetus to to become you know birthed in, and so we're birthing in star seeds, indigo children. You know we come from a planet we had blue skin. 
we're the, have a connection to the blue skin humans. Okay, they're called Syrian blues. Chika Maharaji. Maharaji. Medjai. Magi Holy Grail line. You are Jedi. Kush. Suits. Kayetma. Hohotje. You know, it just comes through. And it's a beautiful energy. <laughs> Thank you, Kenna. Libra Johnson, Jason, sorry, sorry, Libra, Libra J Jason. Wow, thank you for being a member, Holy One. Welcome to the club. Remember, you, you now have access to our Discord chat. You guys, that's a huge benefit. I also want to say that another way to support my work is to become a paid member. And I want to promote the $33 one because that is the one where I'm putting the articles in. So it's called the Emerald Order Teachings tier or higher. It could be the Rishi or the Center Master tier. But I'm putting articles in there, you guys, so uh, of the basics right now. But it'll build up into the more advanced stuff. Because this stuff, as you know, can be very advanced. <laughs> right? When you start doing the actual mechanics, because there is those teachings, techniques that you want to practice on the on the regular deal right what's up not just a sunday thing you know you're like active you are a priest of azerline okay uh chikaya some of you connect feel connected to the lemurians you know they connect to an extraterrestrial race called the earth antrian a star seed from another world these beings are from other worlds they don't just look human looking you're going to see some weird looking mixtures of maybe you'll see bird features or, or cat features or maybe they're like ghost like energy b beings who like levitate and shit and then you're going to be someone who's super tall or a giant or maybe super small and you know or an elemental being a fairy being or an angel being or a demon spirit or whatever you know there's all kinds of life god is great god is all god is everywhere machua I am God, you're God, we're all God. That goblin creature is God. Uh, that beautiful pegasi is, is, you know, guardian spirit. So we, we're learning all of this in these teachings. It awakens yourself. I've awakened myself. I've seen my avatar, Christ's avatar. Connect to your avatar, 12D, okay? And then the fallen angels are against Christos. They're against the 12D. They're, uh, they want to wipe us out. They want to have power here, like without you anymore. So it's uh, always been like that. They would always go after the indigo children. Just like a uh, modern way is these kids who are indigos come in and now they end up with uh, ADD or ADHD, um, you know, attention deaths of it hyperactive disorder um, or some type of you know you see it in their eyes and their face a part of them is cut off it's a distortion happening because of the drugs that are be like pharmaceuticals that are actually uh, shutting down their or organic potentials or psychic abilities are being muted, literally cut out of them. What do you think a shrink does? It shrinks your mind, your your brain. Your it's they they do it chemically. Uh, you talk about having astral travel or out of body experience, man. They're gonna cut. They're gonna chemically stop you from seeing those things anymore. So, wow, these beings are dark, yeah? That's dark. <laughs> I 
Here we go, baby. What's up? <laughs> and it's like a... I mean, in modern time, we can see UFOs. But just realize that people are abducted. Okay? And these beings have access to time travel. And they do some weird shit that's explained in Voyagers 1, I believe. Ashana talks a lot about abduction in the first book, book Voyagers 1. And they can take you to another dimension and then return you back to where they first took you. So you had missing time, but you didn't... Well, homie, you were actually somewhere else. And then they, 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 they have ways of removing some of that memory. Or making you forget or covering it up different ways <laughs> so uh, a lot of people who are abducted they kind of like have missing time like they show in the x-files when Mulder saw the UFO or other storylines other characters saw a UFO they, they were missing time like what what, what happened what, what, what's going on you know things are different what I'm confused. So, much love to you, homies. I want to do a poll. I'm going to ask you a poll regarding aliens. Frey! Thank you, Star Sister. Much love to you. Thank you for supporting this work. And she says something here. I've been having a not-so-positive experience with aliens for two years now. Definitely some kind of experimentation. Wow, Frey. I want to break whatever agreement I made, sending gratitude for all of you to do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Frey. And, and you have power over that. Just under, know that within yourself that, hey, there was a victimization, um, but you can forgive and still love these beings. Just know that you won't be allowing them anymore. You just put that strongly out there. I would say daily make that your affirmation, something that you will write yourself and then repeat it over and over and over and over, a, a repetitive affirmation. It seeps in. It's about frequency. You keep stating that frequency, well, you will be entangled in that frequency. You'll start to go at that frequency, you see? So, I'm a cool, yeah. And I want to say that it sounds ridiculous to some people, and I expect that. So, what am I gonna do? I can't gonna go out of my way. If someone's gonna not agree, you don't have to agree. Machiwa. But, uh, I mean, I had all the senses when I saw these beings touch, feel, smell, see, everything. Uh, it's like, Consciousness is not limited to space or time. Consciousness can go in and out of different frequencies. You can change your frequency. You simply are changing your thoughts to change your frequency. And you do it mindfully. You do it with technology, like energy technology, and you can accomplish great things. Uh, the, unfortunately, the human race has forgotten this ability. You have a you have a power about you guys would be like godlike if you remembered your true potential. You guys are a race that's twelve dimensional man. I mean, what I mean is you have twelve. You're an avatar. You're a Christ, holy Christed avatar race. You want to bring that back to yourself because right now you're not living that. You have to reclaim it. Reclaim who you are, holy ones. Become that best self, best version of yourself. Realize it, know what that means. You have to understand it inside yourself. You don't know it now? Well, figure it out. Go out and listen to your soul. Go inside your soul. That's your heart, throat, and third eye. 
That's the soul level. Those three dimensions. Right here is the heart, green ray, blue ray, indigo ray. So look into those chakra to get the memories of who you are. It's a very personal thing when you ask people, who am I? Uh, can you do a reading for me? Okay, you guys, you can... This is a habit you need to break. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm sorry. I just mean you will. You would want to, you know, transmute that. You're only claiming it to be true, making it true, but it's a routine now. You're not like mindful anymore. Especially, let's say you're you're fighting for, like you have a big problem with money, and you're just. Like, I've been all the way to homelessness. I know what that's like to have no money. And not know how you're going to make it, but I always seem to make it. I mean, I even had to eat ramen noodles. That's all I could afford. You know, that's the cheapest food you can probably buy if you want to call it food. <laughs> Machua. Yeah, you guys, Hulk smash the like button. Hit the like button. Um, you guys want to you know, become a member so you can get on our Discord chat server. Uh, uh, so I thank you guys in advance for the small gift of $5 or whatever you feel called to. Bless you guys um, for helping support this work. And I, I love making these artworks. I think like the picture I showed you early, earlier, I'm going to make that into physical art, you know, pieces that you can get on my Etsy shop. So stay tuned for that. I really love these beings. Orphine, angels are so cool. Really beautiful and unique. And we're from them. They're the Orphine angels are the ones who, where we get our DNA from. They seated us down here. Achiwa. You are them. Remember yourself as one of these feline alien beings. Different skin tones, different like folk specialized orifine. I can't wait to fit, make the video, man. It's going to be awesome. Bless you for getting lit. Um, let me get my glasses. <laughs> Next round on the house. <laughs> I don't need two rounds, but you go for it, Helena. <laughs> I always got to be careful because of my lymphatic ish inflammation. Yep, you said it. Ragged excess moment. <laughs> sing a bit. We'll sing a Bob Marley song. You know, who? everyone's gone through a Jamaican stage in their life. I have. I used to just love to listen to reggae music. You know, and they got the big old, big old blunt, right? <laughs> Ganja. <laughs> wow. Anyways. It's like, hey, free will choice, you choose. I always have a blessed experience with it. It's a powerful medicine. My mom even uses it to help her with pain. You know, they make creams out of it. They can, there's all kinds of, you can make rope out of this medicine. <laughs> um, you can write a book on what you can do with this medicine. And people have. She casts much you. So, yeah, it's like a whole menagerie of different alien races and not all of them nice, but at least we can talk about the nice ones. And so, the series, the series are, you know, bird people. And so, I mean, think about it. What would we do without birds? We love birds. I love birds. I mean, even since a little kid, you know, the first time you saw a bird, you know, 
uh, it's an amazing being. It's totally different than us. Look at that being. And it's got the power to fly. You see? A whole different consciousness, a whole different DNA, birds. And so, and uh, it would have its own divine blueprint. There is a holy version of, the, of each and every bird species. So we have so much variety. I mean, this creation, creating, you know, everything we're, we're, we're creating. Our thoughts are creating. Our, every thought you make is a morphogenetic field. Chikasmato. It's going somewhere that your thought is manifesting somewhere. You know, like this movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, he's like in a dream inside a dream inside a dream. Inception. A dream within a dream with a dr dream within a dream. Yeah, trippy. Because they had to go down and down and down into someone's consciousness. Uh, but it was dangerous for those who went that far down because you could be into some lost space. You know, kind of like this movie series called Lost in Space. <laughs> or you get, maybe you get sh so small, you're in the quantum level. Everything's super small. Wow. That's a whole level of you. And so is being an archangel is another level of you. And you can sit here now in your consciousness and go to all those levels of yourself it just takes a little bit of effort and you connect to like more awareness more of a trans you know it feels like a not like something's coming inside you taking over I'm saying it's kind of like you, somehow you're you're becoming a bigger being, not as in, not as in fat or something. I mean, like giant proportions. You're at much more giant proportions in your evolution. You're a super being. You're godlike to what you used to be, <laughs> right? So, and that's just because they're one density but higher than us. There's a huge leap it's between angels and archangels. There's no comparison, right? But there's also no comparison between an archangel and an avatar. The avatar is freaking huge. Shita Smache. In its like energy field and in its awareness, it's it's like a huge tribe. Awakuyes. And I just uh, still watching this Viking series. Um, and they talk about the gods a lot, which are what? Extraterrestrials. You guys understand that's what gods are? I mean, the things that you are calling gods and talk about the different gods. Well, you're talking about different aliens. And usually those are code names for a race, like a race name. Jehovah is the name of their race. So, the Jehovian people, the Toth Inki people, the Enlil people, it's a race. There's, these Marduk race is a race um, in different hybrids. The first thing you should know about Marduk is it's a hybrid race. It's made of more than one race. So when you take two races, combine them together, you get a new race that has more DNA, right? It now has three types of people, three different periods of time and evolution. You have lower evolution and you have higher evolution. The lower is trying to not channel, but 
connect to itself at that level. We should be able to. We're family. What's up? Right? So, aren't we family? Um, you can connect to your 5D self. You can connect to your 6D self. You can connect to your crown, your, your 7D self. And then you start to awaken to higher realization, higher spirit. It's like you get the sense of what is awakening because you know there's definitely things stirring up inside of you and both negative and positive, right? Uh, you can have, it's an age of change. It certainly it's the potential for huge change. That's why coming to like ascension period is so powerful. That's why you want to be here because it get it will kind of like feed the highest results possible. It's like you put a strong bet. I don't you know my promoting gambling, but if you were doing some type of something in Vegas, <laughs> you could bet, and you would have betting strategies. You don't just here I feel okay maybe that horse right you have some sensibility or experience and education is a field so Ochiwasu but it's a great honor to be with you guys and uh, I talk about different topics in the Emerald Order but this is one of my favorite I like talking about different love, like races that got us all the way from a liquid light being all the way down to what we are in human and to have like past life memory of those future life memory actually of those other versions of ourselves. I mean, we're just limited to our own ability to connect. Don't put hexes on yourself. <laughs> Don't put curses on yourself. L know how to reverse a reversal. Because you're going this way. You got reversed. So now reverse that. So you're going back to your original. Really? One, one, one? <laughs> I claim. What's up? Tsuchi. Much. It's like a. Oh, here's my uh, rattle. This is what I would take to a drum circle. I've run a lot of energy through this thing, and, and it eventually it broke, and I just put some tape on there. It's supposed to be temporary, but it's been on there. It's already loose a little bit. But yeah. Like a shaman. Um, I'm not into all of that shamanism stuff, but uh, there's a lot, there's some things that would be considered fallen angelic because we, we know that even in Voyagers 2, it talks about some of the darkness in some of those religions. <laughs> Um, and not just religions, but just, it's against, it's against all life. It's against order. That's why you have criminals. That's why you have murders. That's why, um, people rape and do horrible sh stuff to each other. We bring light and we bring healing and we bring in this, uh, freedom, freedom teachings to help you be free from that which is enslaving most humans. You learn how to protect yourself, cleanse your consciousness, heal yourself like any of that false teachings. <laughs> and you know, there's gonna be truth, but there's beings who are gonna feed you f uh, their way, their propaganda, one, one, one. It's still 111 people. <laughs> They're going to want you to follow their way. They're going to try to convince you. And then you got to make a choice. What are you going to decide? 
Yeah, baby. So. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just think that, of course, you can't believe all the stuff that you find online or whatever. But I realize that at least people can, so many people have had experiences. You just can't deny it, man. Not just me. <laughs> Come on, do a little bit of research. A lot of pe there's a lot of UFO footage that's excellent. There's a lot of uh, testimony in great detail that matches other people and descriptions. And after a while, you get to know what these aliens are like. You know, if they're good for us or not. Because some people just blindly accept any alien race, right? Oh, it must be better than us if it's more evolved. No. Um, actually, if it's attacking a, a less evolved race, then that's like totally vampirism and dangerous. You need to get yourself out of that situation. But um, just don't think that you, just because you haven't seen a UFO or seen them land on next to your house that you haven't seen an alien. First of all, there could be human hybrids that you run into. Those literally are part alien. Um, or like I said earlier, you can see them in dream work. Just like dark spirits can, or races or beings can... Uh, attack you in your dream in your sleep you know in your dream work well so can the good ones you have to be mindful of your dreams I guess that's part of lucid dreaming so it's just something that a lot of us have forgotten you know like Maybe when you were younger, you had a much better dreams. And so, I guess I want to ask you guys, as a poll, have you, do you believe in aliens? Do you believe aliens exist? Because believe it or not, I think some people don't think so. And that's okay, if that's what they believe. Yes or no? Do you believe in aliens? I don't really know. So you can see that. Oh, where'd you put my glasses? Did you move my glasses? What's up? Don't sit on your glasses, dude. <laughs> I learned, I learned, I need to learn how to protect myself more. Someone's thing's been stealing my energy. Lakai. Yes, Holy One. Just say no. You have to go into a stillness. You have to go into a meditation. And just do not allow. Put up your Maharak seal. You don't know how to do that yet? Learn how. Put up your Maharak seal. And uh, speak to the Holy Elohai. I do. I connect to Elohai like a prayer. If you want to ask something, you want to, you know, whatever you think you're connecting for. And so everyone thinks of the gods differently, right? Everyone believes in their God and their way. Uh, so a lot of people have these, you know, well, some people just don't want to make any choice about that. Like they don't, they don't um, mind if people have different beliefs, but they're they're not gonna like hang out with that person, you know. <laughs> like some people call themselves spiritual, but they think they're better than other people. Now that they're oh supposedly enlightened, now they look down kind of. Kind of lowly to other people who haven't w what the hell man are you kidding me you used to be like this now you're treating other people this way 
So, but these aliens can, can, you know, you can consider them a spiritual being, but they're actually just multi-dimensional beings. So, they're advanced, more psychic. They can uh, hunt for humans who are connecting to this energy. Kind of like guide you to them, basically. But you're not a lamb. You're not meant to be abused or manipulated. Uh, told what to do, controlled. Uh, you're God sovereign free. So be free, holy ones. In your mind, in your awareness, be free. So let me ask a poll. Do you believe aliens exist? <laughs> uh, do you believe do do you believe aliens exist? Do you believe aliens exist? <laughs> And write it in the comments, you guys, so it would be more interesting, too. Yes, no, and, and, and state why, you guys. I don't know. I, like, you're not sure yet. Maybe you need to know more. I don't know. <laughs> Oopsie. Wrong caps. Um, start poll. Okay, there we go. What you guys say? Do aliens exist? Yes or no? 100% say yes! Woohoo! Aliens are real homies. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, will we be blessed with a 4 to 8 clips live? What? Is it the eclipse? Oh, will I be doing a live on 8 clips? I probably won't. Because <laughs> that's a. Uh... Wait, is that Monday? Hey, <laughs> we are aliens, yeah? Big yet, but of course. Zeta Reticuli. They're from the Zeta system, man. It's called Reticuli, right? <laughs> There is a Zeta uh, from another planet who are mean. They're mean to the other Zeta. And they actually uh, enslaved the, lo the little Zeta. Now the, the little Zeta Grays, they're in subservience to the, uh, the you would say the Zetas from Rig Rigel. So they're called the Regellians. Regellians, Regellians, and so they—they're the ones who have made apparently the contracts with the um, government. You know, the shadow government. They made agreements with them, so they can. They were were doing the Philadelphia experiment, and they thought they were getting some type of invisibility technology. Well, you guys know they ended up being teleported, right? And then they got the whole thing with the with the Montauk project. These are leading to wormholes, portals to the Phantom Matrix. So they can have an invasion. They get these, what do you think CERN is doing? Opening, opening spaces, opening portals, creating doorways so they can let these uh, legions of fallen angels and demons in. Remember, these beings want to take, over, take us out, take our planet over. They want our stargates. But we've been put here, and that's why we're in their way. So they're going to railroad us if they can. Get their way. Well, that's why we have to come together, homies. 
We can do this. Let's do this. It's like a uh, scary sometimes, yeah, but we don't live by that fear. We don't have a choice. We just have to be uh, in our conviction and stay the course. Kuchivasu. It's not easy and we're not perfect, but we have the sincere intention to fulfilling our mission, our Emerald Covenant. <laughs> so, so homie. Yeah, we got this. Melody. <laughs> I wish I could hold my granddaughter. That's going to have to wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wouldn't even be able to pay for the trip. <laughs> okay, yes. It's all good. We make it. I think that it's possible the Orphine video could be really, really popular because it's such unique artwork, man. And it's kind of stunning to start to see these beings, what they look like. Like, what's really cool is I know some of you can confirm what some of these beings look like. Like, like even the negative ones. You guys recognize now some of the negative ones. Because you've actually had literal experiences with an alien. Or you might have seen in somebody's face a reflection or a, a, an image of a reptilian show up that's like coming into their fields because well you're psychic and you're picking up on that seeing behind the illusion of hey this is an alien using technology of some sort to alter its appearance so and i've heard about that before so shapeshifter Interesting how that works, right? Because they don't have a shape, a set shape. They're, they could just change form. So they change form. Can you trust that? If they're changing form. Hmm, that's kind of shady. Huh? Our race can change form. Why is that bad? So... Holy avatars. Let me see. Sorry if it looks like I'm tired. I'm. It's just a side effect. I won't go to bed for a few hours. Um, I think when I eat some food right now, I'll, I'll pick back up. <laughs> but it's been a blessed life. And I got a good... I think for new people, they got a good explanation throughout this video about these aliens being multi-dimensionals connected to the primary founder races who created extraterrestrial races who created other races and there's different levels different dimensions our identity is huge and so they don't teach you this in science they don't teach you this in new age so the crystals is bringing it and it's not dogma you can check for it if it's what you feel. Have you seen any bird homies? Right now, 98% of you have seen an alien. <laughs> oh, believe in aliens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Only 2% say, I don't know. So, basically, almost all of you say yes. Oh, it's 98% of you. That's one of the highest polls I've had. I should make a poll like I am human. I get 100% or no, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Celine. And you guys help make that energy. No, for real. Um, I know we get haters in here or just Jesus preachers in here. But hey, there's you guys. <laughs> Your beautiful, sexy, shining ones. I love that, 98%. Just know that you are, and then you'll be 100%. Make it a 100% poll. 
<laughs> no, you gave your true answer. We'll trust in that. I just remember when my daughter Odyssey was, I was taking her to Disneyland and she was a little, just a little girl, so beautiful, so innocent. And she was like a little model for real. She was just too shy. We actually took her to an agency, but she was way too shy. But we wanted to try because so many people said how beautiful she was. And, and she was a real beautiful baby, <laughs> toddler. She would always have these cute little outfits, and I wonder if she's going to do that with her daughter. Chikasma. I think I'll be th thinking about her tonight, my granddaughter. It's just a weird change to feel. It's like, you know, <laughs> uh, offspring, you know, part of my lineage is still growing. Wow. <laughs> when your kid has a kid. So. Chivas. It changes you, man. I, I, that's what I'm telling her. It's, having this kid is going to change your life. Good or bad. Maybe both. Star seeds. Hugs to all of you. Um, eventually I think tomorrow I'll, I'll cook some more food or not cook, start eating smoothies again. I want to try eating smoothies and work my up way to like avocados, strawberries, bananas, blueberries. Um, maybe put some vegetables in there like carrots or, um, I don't know, healthy stuff like kale. It'll, it'll be uh, rich in nutrients and hopefully get me off of the stuff I've been cheating on my diet, man. It's crazy. But uh, we can do this. And we're doing this together. We know we're not perfect, so I love you guys. Um, we're doing this as a team effort, and I, I really genuinely... Look, so grateful to have you guys in the family. Um, become a member, you guys, and you get to talk in our Discord chat. And it's blessed to do that, to be able to speak with like mind. You know, because you can't tell this kind of stuff to your Christian family. I can speak from experience. I mean, some of my family are open-minded. Some aren't. <laughs> so, and you'll be judged, maybe, for being someone who talks about this information, but... You guys raise above that. You're better th than that. So are they, but they just won't realize it yet. So have yourself a beautiful evening, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, come again. And I'll be making more content about this angels and aliens and spiritual awakening and ascension. You got this. You're part of something big, homie. You we're helping another race, the human race. Bring it on, man, baby. We're part of this. She costs. <laughs> it's joyous. You can feel bliss, homie. It feels good. Remember, I was describing it tantric, coming down my spine. Oh yeah. And it's like. You know, it's not always your psychic abilities are on, but sometimes, of course. And that means you're having ascension symptoms. It means that you're activating your junk DNA, your fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth level of yourself. I want it, want it any other way. I love you guys. Christ is alive on earth. Christ is awakening. Christos! Avatar! Share this video, guys. 
uh, rock. Let's rock and roll together. I'll see you guys on the flip flop on the next video on Tuesday. Just a few days away, homie. We got this. We're gonna make a difference in this world. Hawa. Much love and respect. Thank you, my moderators, for being with us tonight. Thank you for my members. Without you, I couldn't do this full time. Thank you, you guys. And I'll be making some Orophim Angel artwork. So stay tuned for that. Peace. Grace. Joy. Love yourself. And love others unconditionally. Omni love. We'll say a couple of verses together. Um shadai ure akuntu. Let me see. Do I have earplugs in my pocket? No, I don't. Um shadai ure akuntu. Um shadai ure akuntu. And you just feel this wonderful connection to the Elohai. That's what that verse is. Um, so, and we say, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free. Much respect to your spiritual journey. Bless you from the Guardian Alliance and the Emerald Order Covenant. Much, much pleasure. My honor. I honor you. Good night, you guys. Peace! Yeah. Holy Christ. Crystal Sabotage. <laughs>